This is a breaking news story here. Harvey Weinstein, once one of the most powerful men in Hollywood, surrendering to police this morning following on sexual assault charges. The scene much different than the red carpet he used to walk in some ways, but still the camera's there, just in a, in a different setting, obviously, under different circumstances. Weinstein stepped out from a black SUV wearing a blazer and carrying books under his arm, what appear, obviously appear to be books, and then entered the first precinct police station in Manhattan amid a crowd of reporters and cameras. This is the first step that we got earlier this morning. The disgraced film producer is expected to face first criminal charges after months of sexual abuse allegations from dozens of women. And actually, this just in from the, the AP, the latest on this probe, 8.20 a.m., a law enforcement official says Harvey Weinstein is going to face a criminal sex act and rape charges in New York. Of course, we had heard that he is now making his way, actually, from that first precinct to an actual courtroom. And so all of this unfolding, it appeared to as if there were Two, two situations here um, being charged with first and third degree rape in one case, according to reports, and, first, and, and a first degree sex act in a second case. One of the women who came forward with these charges was a woman who was outspoken about Harvey Weinstein from the early days, of course, when we had the news break in October of last year. And then the second one, uh, the second woman that has come forward, not uh, not known to the public just yet who exactly she is. But again, charges that he raped one woman and forced another woman to perform oral sex on him. And Harvey Weinstein is still under investigation for alleged sex crimes in L.A. and London as well. Make no mistake, Harvey Weinstein would not be facing these charges. He would not be arrested if it weren't for New York Times reporters Jody Cantor and Megan Twohey. Under a year ago, writing that blockbuster story, of course, Ronan Farrow, we know for The New Yorker, was working on a story as well. It's just mind-blowing to me that, the, that he wouldn't be going, he wouldn't be, fa he wouldn't be facing any of these charges. He wouldn't have been essentially caught unless these reporters wrote that story.